Hello, Cancer. Jackie Tomlin here. And this is your reading. This is going to be for the week of August 7th, 2023. Um, guys, please remember this is a general reading. Okay. So take with you what resonates. Leave what does not behind for someone else. And if you're seeking a personal one-on-one -on -one reading, it's JackieTomlin.com. Now, a couple of signs that jump out that may or may not resonate for you. It's going to be a Gemini as well as a Capricorn. This is a week of getting things lined up. I just see you lining up a bunch of paperwork. Like there's a folder there. You're just getting things lined up. I'm not sure if you have a presentation that you're about to present. All I know is you're getting some things in order. Okay. Uh, we have a good business deal here and getting things under control. I think you're coming into a week of that you are going to stop beating yourself up. Okay. And a week of good luck and abundance. Now, going back to the signs, we have an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. So, fire sign is here as well. Good news is going to arrive and you're going to be ready to celebrate. Okay. And there is, of course, the warning in your, in your temper. There's intensity in love and warning of your temper. And I just see it being a very, very emotional time for you guys. And I want to remind you that you're under the influence of the super moon tune, which really doesn't help when you're emotional. I almost have like the death card energy. And what I'm talking about is endings, closures, rebirths, and new beginnings. Well, you can't have a new beginning without an ending. Okay. And that's what I'm seeing here. So let's jump into this reading. Let's see what we have. We have the queen of cups. The Queen of Swords. A lot of people in your reading this week. A lot of people. And the King of Cups with the delay attached. Okay, so what we got going on here? There is there is a power couple here that may be separating or something has broke this unison here. Um, we have someone asking you to open your heart to give love, open your heart to receive love. And we've got the Queen of Swords is someone here with a sharp tongue. That may be lashing out at you. Hey, Harry. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, a lot of emotions going on here. You may be dealing with another cancer, too. So, cancer in cancer indicates complete and total stubbornness. Like I said, you may have stopped beating yourself up, but you've got tunnel vision. Okay? We have the hangman energy here. Talking about you're feeling stuck. You feel like you're not moving forward. You're not moving backwards. There's no movement. Some of you feel like you're repeating a cycle or you're stuck on that hamster wheel. Um, this is generally spirit asking you to be still so it can speak to you and provide the answers that you need. Center of the reading is the emperor. Dominant, prominent, take charge type person. The person that comes in to save the day with the four of pentacles. Keep some things to yourself, thoughts, ideas, and or opinions. And for some of you, it's going to be a stash of cash. Okay. You have the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands saying the worst is over. Could be some travel plans. But this is talking about overcoming your obstacles, creating a new path, a better path, and the right path. And we have the Six of Wands. You have total victory and complete success. But there's a delay attached to this as well. Now, what this is telling me is you need to trust where you're being led. Do keep some things to yourself. It's like you're flying under the radar. I'm not going to say you're sneaky, but yeah, you're sneaky. Okay. And we have the King of Wands. King of Wands coming in. Like I said, you could be dealing with a fire sign. This is you taking authority. This is you putting your foot down. This is you say, we're going to do things my way. And it's going to be no way but my way. All right. Let's see what we got to go with this. Big shift in energy for you guys. Like I said, maybe emotional, but there's a huge shift of energy here. All right, we have the Knight of Swords. There is something that's going to come rushing in. What is rushing in is strength. Strength is on your side no matter what you do. Comes in when you need it. Eight of Cups, turning and walking away. You're walking away from someone or something that no longer serves a purpose. And like I said, I know this is all seeming frustrating for you. The strength is on your side, but I swear... The birth of new ideas, new plans, and strong, powerful new beginnings come out of my cancers when you are just completely 
tapped out. Facts. All right, with that, we've got the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you, if you're single, you're deciding to remain single for right now. Um, Nine of Pentacles talks about abundance, financially independent, flying solo, Nine of Cups. That's what I'm talking about, wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment, happiness, and contentment. You are doing you. And we have the world, as in making the world your oyster. Something here or someone that you're walking away from has tried to hold you back or try to set you back. You're not having it. You're not having it. It's like, what do they say? The phoenix rising from the ashes? That's what I'm seeing. Again, we talk about the four pentacles, keeping some things to yourself. Thoughts, ideas, opinions, stash of cash. Three of Swords, third person. I want an advice in or opinion. Three is a crowd. Um, if you are entering a new relationship or something, let's make sure you're not getting involved in a third party situation. And the King of Wands comes in with the King of Wands. I can't make that up. Taking care of you. Some of you are moving. Some of you could be looking at a residential move in the winter. Queen of Cups comes into play. Again, the same way your reading started is how your reading ends. Asking you to open your heart to give love and receive love. But I think overall you got to love yourself first. With the Five of Wands. There is some drama here on the home front. Again, the hangman. You are in what I call the calm before the storm. All right, Cancer. This is asking you to get the rest that you can need while you can. Because big events are coming up when you're looking at the calm before the storm. Going back to what I said at the beginning of the reading. This is a read, uh, week of getting things under control. Putting some action behind these new ideas. And like I said, there's something that you're getting together. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget JackieTomlin.com for personal readings. Uh, if you're following me around today, logging off, coming back. Leo. Leo is up next. See you then.